Welcome Virgo and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message, week commencing Monday the 2nd of November through to Sunday the 8th of November 2020. I've already pulled your crowning cards and your crowning wisdom message cards, so let's have a look. Virgo, for your crowning message, you have passion, courage, and travel. Okay, Virgo, I feel for the first week of November, you may be waking up with this passion card to what your soul is really desiring at this time. And it's almost as if you are connecting with divine, with your higher self, really trying to understand what makes your soul sing. And it's as though you are being activated and awakened, a bit of a transformation going on to reignite that vigour, that passion for life. Maybe if you are connecting with the person that you're thinking about, you are maybe waking up to this connection in a very profound way, realising that actually they make your, your soul and your heart sing. And I feel as though you are boldly going forward and reigniting that vigour, that passion for this person. With the Courage card, um, you may have Leo in your chart, um, but I feel as though you are being called right now to, as you awaken, to kind of really look within um, with the Courage card to uncover something that has probably plagued you for a while and it could be fear anxiety maybe going back as far as childhood but it's affected you psychologically and there is there is a need i feel as though for you to take back your power it's as though you know the energy around you at the moment is is very courageous very strong but it's as though you've cowered, you, you've kind of cowered within because of fear, anxiety. Something may have happened that was quite distressing for you, either in your childhood or it could be past lives, um, experiences that has somehow carried over into this lifetime. And I feel as if you're being guided to go within, address that, harness it and you know, ask for healing, restoration, clarity, maybe go into meditation, go for those long walks with nature, connect however you connect with yourself to ground yourself to really look within it's a bit of self discovery going on. And I feel that as you do that, you are, you're going to awaken and be activated to what truly makes your heart sing. And that's what you're going to Re, re, it, re, reinvigorate and as you go through this process of transformation and, and I feel that this is most definitely to do with the person that you're connecting with or thinking about you may be guided with this light here this lantern again transformation around you to birth something where you need to travel. You may need to travel across the waters. You may be in a different location to the person that you're thinking about. Or it could be simply that you just need to travel to a place that you are, you've been drawn to or, or a place that you have thought about traveling to or you've been led to. And I feel that this is going to help you awaken what truly makes your heart and soul sing and address whatever internal challenges that has plagued you for a while. This woman in this card, she looks like she is, you know, probably about, you know, three months pregnant or something. So I feel that this is quite a fertile card. It's almost as if 
you're rebirthing, you know, there's a rebirth going on here. And it could be a rebirth with a person that you're connecting with, you know, having that aha moment with that passion card, waking up and realizing that this person does make your heart sing, your soul sing, your heart and your soul. And you may be, it may be hitting you in the 3D and you may be really drawn to travel to this person. And I feel as though, Virgo, that you're being guided to, to make that trip because it's going to, I feel that it's just going to enhance this awakening that you're going through. For your crowning wisdom cards, you have the diamond star destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. Absolutely. I feel as though... Virgo, as you go through this awakening of reinvigorating your zest for life, you are connecting your heart chakra with your crown chakra. And it's almost as if you're coming into this beautiful light of understanding your purpose, maybe understanding the person that you're connecting with as somebody that is a very, very deep soulmate, maybe even a twin flame. And maybe you've been closed off to receiving love, to giving love because of this challenge that you're being asked to look at that, you know, has invoked fear, anxiety. And I feel that whatever was shielding your heart is, is coming down and you're recognizing your true purpose not just for yourself, but for the greater good of all around you. It's extremely, I feel that you're being extremely intuitive, very wise, really going through um, a transformation. Your next card is the medicine woman, Heal. I nurture and nourish my mind, body and soul. Exactly. This is exactly what your crowning message is all about. It's as though, look at this moon here. It's as though you've gone through a major transformation or you're, you know, you're know, you coming out of that transformation, waking up to what truly makes your heart sing, your soul sing. But you may be also be guided to really go within and heal nurture and nourish both your mind body and soul i feel as though on a 5d level it's to do with this courage card dealing with some sort of fear and anxiety that's either trickled from past lives or you know something that affected you you know in your childhood that you need to heal from and deal with but also on the 3d level i feel that at this time you need to be really mindful of you know, what you're putting in your body, you know, focus on your health, you know, take that exercise, eat healthily, because all of that is going to help nourish and nurture your mind, body and soul. And your final wisdom card is the star daughters dance. I dance, sing and play with my sisters at sunset. Absolutely. This is all about celebrating having gone through major transformation and it's also as you go through this transformation as you awaken this passion this vigor for life again i feel as though your vibration is going to be raising to a whole different level and as you do that what you're doing is attracting your soul tribe so if you are thinking about somebody in particular, they may be part of your soul tribe. They may be a very, very deep soul connection, possibly a twin flame. Um, maybe both of you have gone through major transformations. And now I feel as if you're coming together, celebrating this connection, attracting each other. You may be manifest manifesting each other. They may be manifesting you. And as you're do that, as you're doing that, I feel that you're being called to bring that joy, that you know, childlike innocence and purity, and dance, dance to the the song of your soul that you are waking up and recognizing. And as you do that, I feel that yeah, you're you're attracting 
how you're feeling and thinking and that new vigor for life, you know, dancing for life, you know, dancing um, with the flow of life because it has been very healing and waking up to your destiny, making that choice to go down the road of love, light, peace, joy, and absolutely enjoying this, this phase of your life. Really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful, um, Virgo. And I, I don't know why, but I do feel as though, you know, the person that you're connecting to has also gone through a major transformation and they may be feeling drawn to travel to you. It's as though, you know, with the, um, the star daughters, both of you may be calling in each other um, and may be feeling that, that pull to travel, to meet each other, to be with each other. Okay, Virgo, let's have a look at your cards. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus, feel towards them in love, week commencing Monday the 2nd of November through to Sunday the 8th of November 2020. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me, thank you. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay, my angel, oh, thank you. Wow, we have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful, Virgo. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday. Thank you. Wow, we have the Ace of Swords. Wow, we have the lovers right at the centre of your message. Yeah, this this is this is a twin flame. This is a very this is your ultimate soulmate, Virgo. Well, that's how they're feeling about you for sure. My angels, whoops, and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your how the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, okay, Virgo, this card just turned up and I feel, yeah, look at that, the Three of Cups, which almost resonates with the Star Daughters and thank you. Final card, Six of Swords. Interesting, okay. All right, a bit of overanalyzing going on. All right. Okay, Virgo, let's have a look at your cards. With the um, Ace of Wands here, uh, Virgo, <coughs> I feel as though, I feel as though this person that you are connecting with most definitely has a lot of, pa a lot of passion for you. And I feel as though that they are um, determined to take the action towards you. And that's what I was saying before we pulled these cards. They may have gone through a transformation and they may be called, you know, a call to action to travel to you. If you are, you know, in, you know, different locations, but they may be, if you're not in different locations, they may be um called to uh, for a new journey a, a a new beginning with you so if you are already in um union with the person that you're thinking about you both may be going through um a reshaping a transformation of your relationship and i feel with the ace of wands that they are determined to take that action um for change you might be getting to that to a, another level of your relationship 
with the Ace of Swords, uh, most definitely, um, I feel that um, a truth is being told. Either they're coming to you with the truth or you are coming to them. But I feel that, um, you know, the, 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 the passion and the determination to determination to take that action towards you and speak their truth um, is 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 really prevalent right now for the first week of November. And it's also, you know, it also resonates, I, I feel as though, you know, they may have had something blocking their heart, they may have had something that has plagued them, they may have also gone through a major transformation. And this journey of um, self love, this self discovery, reigniting that passion for life, reigniting that passion for you if you are in union if you are not in union with this person i feel that you do know them and they do want to come towards you travel to you speak their truth tell you how they're feeling and it's all because they see you as a twin flame um the lover's card i feel as though you both are look how beautifully you know, these two images are entwined together. It's as though, you know, you, it's as though you've bone, both grown from the same um, roots, um, guided to each other. And look at the doves coming in. It's just pure peace. And then look at the sun that's shining through. This is most definitely a divinely guided connection. And it wouldn't surprise me, um, Virgo, if through connecting with this person, whether you are in union or you are separated, it may have triggered both of you to really go within and, you know, understand what makes your soul sing, you know, looking within to find out, you know, why you're fearing this connection, why they're fearing this connection, why you both are fearing to go to that next level in your relationship. It's as though there's a massive awakening that's happening and it's because they see you as their ultimate soulmate, uh, their twin flame. And then we have the Three of Cups, absolutely. This is all about celebration. This is all about wanting to get to know you, you getting to know them. It could be, you know, reigniting your passion, you know, as a couple, if you are in union, if you're not in union, they want to get to know you. They, they want to travel to you. They want to bring that fun and humor and laugh and love, um, you know, and, and celebrate this connection. And I most definitely feel as though this is echoing the star of daughter's card. It's almost as if they're on cloud nine, recognizing and realizing um, who you are in their life. You know, they're seeing you as that ultimate soulmate, that person that is their twin flame, their yin, their yang. You know, you are both calling in your soul tribe, you know, um, you are most definitely, um, I, I feel extremely entwinedly connected and look at how, you know, these, these images of these two individuals, it looks like mermaids are, are entwined in this, um, cup of emotion, just like, you know, you are both entwined and grounded with mother earth connected with divine it's yeah it's it's as though you are both one you are both one one soul and with the six of swords i feel as though virgo either you or the person may have kind of been in denial a little bit about this connection hence why you have, I feel, woken up to this person actually really makes your soul and your heart sing. And I feel with the Six of Swords that they are moving from perhaps not receiving that reciprocated love or emotion or those gestures. This person may have um, recognised this connection, Virgo, before you. And I feel as though they were probably coming in um you know with 
expressing their truth, their passion to you. Um, and you maybe didn't reciprocate it. You know, there was something that you were fearing. And I feel as though it, it, it's, it's, it's more to do with either, you know, something that happened, you know, in your childhood or a really deep, deep heartbreak or something from past lives that you're res that, that you carried over. But this person, it's as all that it's almost as if they had faith in this connection, knowing that you were their divine counterparts for sure. And by coming into union with them, whether you are um, actually with this person or this is somebody that, you know, you know, and you're, you're not in union, whatever it is, just their presence around you, I feel triggered this awakening with you within you and also it may have triggered an awakening to them because i feel that they knew pretty pretty early on um who you were or who you are in their life let's clarify my angels and spirit guides of the divine please thank you and wow, look, we've got the Ace of Wands covering the Ace of Wands. This person is extremely passionate towards you, extremely passionate. And the Six of Wands here, yet yeah, they know that you're the one for them. Absolutely. I feel that they are being divinely guided. Their third eye chakra fully open and aware um, that they need to take this action towards you and absolutely determined to do so and it's because i feel that they know that you are the one for them and then look we've got the ace of pentacles this is a solid solid offer a solid solid offer this person is is very grounded very abundant very connected spiritually and i feel that as they speak their truth with you look at that you've got the ace of wands the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This is, you know, to get the Aces so close together, all we need now is the Ace of Cups. And that will confirm, you know, exactly how deep this connection is. But as they speak their truth, I feel that they're coming in um, with a solid offer, a solid commitment, um, very grounded, very balancing, um, very balanced, I should say. So whatever they've gone through, I feel that you both may be mirroring each other, um, knowing that they need to walk away from, you know, maybe you didn't reciprocate their gestures of love or, you know, you just weren't on the same wavelength, but you are now. I feel that you both are on that same wavelength. And I feel that now they are surrendering to this connection, putting behind them whatever wasn't working, whatever was derailing this connection. And they're coming in strong, abundant, balanced, speaking their truth. This is somebody you can trust, um, Virgo. And look at that. What was I just saying? If we get the Ace of Cups, this connection... Um, Virgo is extremely divinely guided and you know what I'm being drawn to is the fact that you have got um, the ace of sword wands coming out twice you've got the ace of swords the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups literally all within one area of this of this message so it's as though, you know, if you had the aces over here, you know, maybe you needed to come together but with them all coming here it around one around each other literally in sequence this tells me you are both on the same page you are both entering into this person is part of your soul tribe and your vibration and how you are feeling towards each other you are both on the same page and with this ace of cups this is all to do with love this is unconditional love that I feel that this person has for you, that is solid, that's grounded, and that is truth. And I feel as though, Virgo, you are waking up to the love that you have for them. And I feel that they, and what did I say before? It's as though they knew who you were or who you are 
in this life journey with them. They recognize you as their divine counterpart, their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate. Because they knew, they just knew with that Ace of Cups that the love that you have for each other was reciprocated on a soul level. But you may not on a 3D level, Virgo, have tweaked it. But I feel that you are, you are recognising this person actually makes your soul sing. And that's what's re reinvigorating you to enjoy life, dance you know, celebrate, um, waking up to your true purpose, waking up to the truth of this connection for sure. And I feel that you're both being called to travel this journey, either physically in the 3D world, uh, if you are apart from each other, um, or literally um, travel this soul journey with each other because you are so entwinedly connected. And with the chariot, I feel absolutely they just want to rush in. I feel they want to rush in and travel to you, be with you, celebrate, get to know you. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Cups, because you are their wish fulfillment. You are their happiness, for sure. They just want to be with you. They, they just want to be with you. Um, and they want to rush in. And with the Eight of Swords, they may be overanalyzing, you know, how can they get to you to celebrate? How can they um, travel to you? I mean, the current times that we're in at the moment, if you are, you know, not in union um, and you are in different, you know, countries, states, cities, you may, you know, it may be difficult to travel at this time, but it's as though I feel that as they've awoken, as with you to this connection, it's as almost as if, you know, they're kind of, how can I put it? It's almost like a little bit of mental torture, but it's like, actually, they might be a bit scared because especially if you haven't reciprocated um, you know, loving gestures or, you know, whatever truth that or passion that that, that was coming at you from this person, um, they may be a little bit scared, may but, you know, overanalyzing this connection because you just mean the world to them. But I feel it if they just, you know, let down their guard, you know, take off that blindfold and recognize that they can break free from this mental torture and I feel that that's what they have done, recognising that you are the Ten of Cups. And they just want to celebrate that. They want to celebrate. Thank you. And look at that with the Seven of Wands. Absolutely, they're going to fight for this connection. And I feel that they're going to fight, you know, their anxieties, their fear. Because they want to celebrate. They, they, they just want to be with you because they know... Look at that one wand there. They know that you are the one for them. They also may feel that they need to, you know, ward off competition. You could have other people that are interested in you, Virgo. And, you know, they may be called to, um, you know, fight for this connection. Um, whether it's fighting their internal over-analytical mind to come forward and just celebrate this union or actually to physically fight off other competition, you know, um, not physically fight off, but um, if you have other people that is interested, they are determined to take the action to um, work hard for this connection because they know that you are the one they, they want to be with. And look, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. I feel as though the work has been put in for them to move away from what wasn't serving this um, connection. So if there was something that was blocking their heart chakra or blocking your heart chakra, 
um, Virgo, I feel as though they're working really hard to move away from that. If you didn't reciprocate um, the loving gestures, the love, the truth that was coming from this person, I feel that you are recognising that the work has been put in. They've gone through a transformation and I feel that you're both moving away from any negativity um, around both of you. And with temperance, absolutely, I feel that this is divine intervention coming in to balance out um, balance out what wasn't serving either one of you. And I feel that they're applying patience as well. Patience to celebrate with you, to celebrate your connection, wanting to bring that 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 innocent and fun energy into this connection but also being patient at this time to travel to you because they may not be able to get to you right now so they may be coming up with you know a new way of uh connecting a new way of engaging um yeah that's only for some of you um but if you are in union with this person i feel that they're being you know, patient, knowing that the work has been put in, you know, you are their ultimate soulmate. And, and that's what they're waking up to um, as well as you. Uh, and it, it could also represent that, you know, if you are in union with this person, that, you know, they are, they're now open to travel this, you know, this new level, the next level up in your relationship. Um to something, you know, that they're just open to right now. And your advice, Virgo, be present. Use the hours, don't count them. Absolutely. I feel that... I feel that you also may be feeling this strong determination to take the action, to speak your truth as well as you are waking up to the fact that this person does make your heart sing, your soul sing. And I feel that your advice is, is be present, harness it, um, use the time wisely with this person because, you know, tomorrow isn't promised for us. Yesterday has already gone. Be in the here and now. And, you know, if you have this inner work that needs to be done, recognise it, harness it, heal it, restore it um take the action that you need to take so that you can be in the present um with this person that you are connecting with because as i say tomorrow is not promised okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice thank you all right virgo so then look at that we have twilight and i just straight away just clocked um, the I was just drawn to the travel card and the and the diamond star, twilight surrender to the last hour, when the light barely touches the flowers. Absolutely, I feel as though and look, it's it's almost resonating with the lovers card. This twilight, I feel that you are um, you're surrendering. You're surrendering to this connection. You are surrendering to your divine counterpart. Um, it, it may have been a real journey for you to get to this point, um, but it's as though you are connecting with your light within, um, walking with grace, integrity, taking back your power, reinvigorating your passion for life. Absolutely. You are the light. They are the light. And coming together, you understand your greater purpose. And look, we have self-care, tend to your garden. And I feel, um, Virgo, that this is resonating with the medicine woman. Absolutely. I feel that whatever kind of derailed this connection, whether in union or, or separated, um, yeah, the self-care is, well, actually, it's twofold. I feel as though as you move away from what wasn't working for your highest good and for their good, as you move away from that, as they move away from that, it's about self-love, self-care, um, 
healing, restoration, going within, seeking that um, divine guidance, um, your higher self to heal and restore from what didn't serve this connection. But also, so it's also resonating with the courage card. So whatever has plagued you in the past, past lives or your your past in general, maybe a childhood or a deep heartbreak, it's now time to, to, to walk away from that. It's and celebrate life, have passion for life, reinvigorate, reinvigorate, you know, your zest for life as you come into union. But also as well, this self-care with the medicine woman, it's about being mindful of what you're putting into your body, you know, taking that exercise, um, looking after yourself. Um, I, I feel both in, in mind uh, body, uh, yeah, mind, body and spirit, I was going to say, um, but it's got here mind, body and soul. So, you know, all three does resonate. So I, I, I do feel that, you know, this is a major um, awakening, I feel, Virgo, for both you and the person that you're connecting with. But it does feel as though you're mirroring each other. But they realise this connection before you, I feel. And as you are awakening and activating um, uh, Virgo to this connection now you can be in the present now you can connect with that twilight that inner light between both of you and as you do that I feel that you know there's there's some work that still needs to be done with you maybe with them but this is advice for you so you may need to really look at you know what is it you need to take back um and reinvigorate your courage and your zest for life. Um, but also I feel that as you both take this journey together, either literally physically to meet each other or a soul journey um, that you're going to be traveling with each other with that lover's card, obviously, you know, very strong soul connection that you are both going to heal each other and celebrate moving away from what doesn't serve you. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. An extremely beautiful, humbling um, message. If this resonated with you, Virgo, please feel free to click that thumbs up um, on the video so that it can uh, the video can be pushed out to more Virgos. Um, if you wish to subscribe um, so that you know when I'm uploading, that's your choice. But I do welcome you to the to the Spirit and Truth um, Tribe family. And um, until next week, um, Virgo, I'm just sending you absolutely loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.